when a lot of people get into it, and there's a lot of radio people that um, really enjoy a lot more of the perks of it than they do yeah. the actual job of it. I mean, yeah. you, I mean, you know, you do, you meet a lot of celebrities, you interview a lot of artists, um, which is, hey, don't get us wrong, that is a pretty cool part of it. That's really cool. Getting getting the tickets when you need them and uh, not having to pay for them. I mean, a lot of that. Trust me, doing is, things is, like is you would never stuff. be able to do. We were feeding hippos last year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like behind the scenes, like we do things that you would never like ever fathom you would ever be able to do things that like i'm just like how do how are we here right now yeah. why are we in this situation this is so cool i think just meeting coming here is cool for me and that's not me being cheesy or lame saying that that's cool? probably sounds weird to you guys but i'm not really big on like meeting artists and celebrities because i don't the time I don't, you talk to them they go you can't say this you can't say that you can't talk about this don't do that ask you got about this much time like with iggy azalea last last year we had that's a good a one. A minute and a half. They're like, you have a minute and a half. She's in a bad mood after the breakup. Yeah, his, Don't say anything her, mean. Don't do any of this. And we're like. Her record rep was completely convinced she was not going to interview, that she was mo- possibly not coming out because of the whole thing going down with her and Nick Young. So we decided to go anti-radio, which would be question her about what she was going through. And we bought her. She loved cupcakes. So we bought so her we cupcakes before the interview. Bought her cupcakes. Interview. Like, really nice cupcakes. She liked Tupac, so we bought her a Tupac uh, record, and she came out. And when she came up, she, you're looking at her face, and you're going, oh, man, he was right. It's going to be it. And then when we handed her the gift, she was all cool, and we got to do the she interview. She kept them. She, yeah. like, sent us thank yous. It was, it was really awesome. I mean, those are the times where it's like you're touching an artist without them realizing. Yeah. It's probably lame for me to say. I mean, I can spit out I've met so-and-so, and so I can name hundreds of people I met. I'm just – none of them really impact me. It's always when I – no, that's yeah, right. it's always when that's I meet people. Studio. That's him in the studio. No, yeah, no. it is. It's when I meet people is what impacts me. Yeah, and we. St- I'll talk about this tomorrow. Yeah, we no, we still get weirded out when if people will come up to us and go rat and puff or you know I'm big fans and stuff like that and we go, oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Come here, get on our Snapchat right now. But I, I think as we got a little bit older, we kind of realized that the most important thing that we could do with our show is you know use the medium to impact people in the best way. And like years ago, we started an event called Stuff a Bus, where we would live on a bus for an entire week, no showering, bunch of guys living on a bus 24 seven, and we would take city buses like you would see in Detroit, and we would fill them for toys for toys for tots. So there's times where we filled seven, eight buses from floor to ceiling full of toys, but we, you know, figured out that that's the kind of, you know, empowerment that we could have as well. Right, I mean, there are people that don't get me wrong. They use it to their advantage. They use media to their advantage. You can't you can't be naive. I don't care if you're 10 years old or if you're 50 years old. You have to realize that there are people that are in each profession that use it to their advantage. I choose that if I go tomorrow, I want to say that I've done something with what we do, you know. And my life after radio, whatever that is, is probably going to continue on in that form. And for us to even impact, like for us. How I think you skipped something that was very important that just popped in my head. When we interned, they said to us, we're going to give you a shot, but when you make it, because we see something in you, you have to help someone else make it, and you have to promise them that they do the same. So from that moment on, we took that very seriously. Currently right now we have uh, interns that came from our show that are in Chicago doing nights, uh, Houston. There's a guy, Corey B., who's a big viral superstar right now on social media but he does nights in chicago uh an intern of ours who is in portland right now which is a very cool city to do radio in currently and just spread all around there's a ton of names but each of these people also have made that promise to us so the legacy that we were passed on we're we're continuing that tradition which i find very cool so there's things in radio and tv that i that still make an impact in people's lives you get up every day in the cold doing construction at 6 a.m., get home at 8 p.m. You know, we talk to those people. They call every day. So we're very fortunate that we get able to do it. We get to sit in the studio and do a show where we forget that people listen. Like, literally, we're friends. We come into work laughing. Don't do it for the money. Don't do it for the perks. Don't do it for the chicks or the guys or whatever it is. Do it because you love it, because you love getting up and talking into a microphone. I get to make people smile every morning, every morning. 